I bet my cavalry could trample these dudes. Anyway. Alright, so they're both aiming up here. Good. They've got extreme, well, quite good experience crews on them as well, so they are hitting their targets for the most part. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Not our archers. Oh shit, not all the archers have been firing. Damn it. <laughs> wow, now it's going to be like a machine gun again. Old Swan. As well, we're getting slaughtered. Good shit. Wow, that was a good shot. Good job I told them to spread out their targets as well. Just got another level up. You have our wow. It's total, total slaughter. I'm going to remember to do this next time. Spread out the targets because even if they miss, they hit into someone else because they're so spread out. Like, you know, because I gave them different targets. Okay. I'm just going to stick it on fast forward. Holy shit, now that's a machine gun. Wow. <laughs> Look at them all. And that's because I didn't have all my archers firing together. Let's move these guys up. They're going to be tired, are they? Whoa, ambushed. Ambushed. Just because they were out of sight. And they're running, they're hiding again. How the hell is that possible? <laughs> they're hiding amongst the dead bodies. Well, Oh shit, another one. And I've lost quite a lot of men. I need to be careful because somehow they can hide amongst the dead bodies. And they're running back to hide in the dead bodies again. Oh my god, they have as well. Right, let's lead the charge with Spartan Pikes. And then I'm going to do a charge with these calf units. I've got a feeling there's a ton of levy freemen here that for some reason aren't seen. Aha, uh -huh, they're reacting. Yeah, I thought so. Look at that. Units hidden right in front of me. Doesn't make any sense. Like, well, just let my archers carry on with what they were doing. Hey, are they going after my cavalry? No, they're just reforming a the line. There's even more units hidden there. That's got to be a glitch, hasn't it? 
it's got to be because they're like less than 20 feet away from my units and they're hidden all right let's move up the line Put the pressure on him. Dude, that's got guy's got a cone head. Oh, they're counter charging. That was a pointless charge on their behalf, to be honest. Oh shit. Whoa. Chopped him right down the centre. Oh, and this dude got an arrow through his chest and charging. Where's he going? Oh! God, I felt that. <laughs> he got an arrow shot in him and then stopped. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back to the future style. Wow. They just appear. I knew that there was going to be hidden units there because there's just too many units that we were against that we haven't killed enough for them to be... Okay. What's going on here? I thought they were going to charge. Guess not. Okay. One of our units has used all its ammunition. They're not going to. St okay, so I have to start melee attacking them now. I hope my pikes are going to hold their formation. Of course they don't. So we've got to slowly advance through the town because I think that there's like that full stack that we saw of Levy Freeman. I think they're all hidden. Amongst these bodies and shit up here. Alright. They're broken. Oh, I just watched a guy get stabbed down here then. They're trying to fight back as the lines are advancing. It's not going to happen. I'm getting ready for the perfect time to cavalry charge. This is so cool. <laughs> These are the actual Spartans now. Oh, that's why they're hidden. There's a tiny bit of a hill here. Low. Are going to advance on me? Let's just fast forward and see what happens. Yes. Oh shit, there was a unit hidden here. <laughs> just having a picnic in the woods, I guess. I just heard a Spartan officer saying, good work, man. Keep it up. You probably heard it as well, so... Lol. I thought it was pretty epic. Can't get a good angle. Is that a good angle? Spartans! Oh, come on now. Why are they just... Charge to 
your deaths. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Don't know what I clicked then to cause that. Right, I'm gonna glue group them together so it's easier to select them. This is going to be a slow and bloody cruel slaughter, I tell you. Because <laughs> there's just so many troops here and they're not attacking, they're attacking one by one. So, my limited amount of Spartans can take out a ton of their dudes. No, didn't mean to do that. Oh shit, they got a tiny bit of a flank on me. Hey, where are these guys going? That makes no sense. What are they doing? <laughs> Right, here's my opportunity. Cavalry time. Right, now they're deciding to throw everything. Good shit, let's go and charge them all. Keep moving. I want them all to cycle charge in, like hammer and anvil strike them. Damn, I'm actually taking some serious losses over here. Against these shit in Oath Swan. <laughs> Here we are, mass route is on the way, please. Good shit. Awesome. End battle, end battle. New province and a full one, I think that will mean. Oh wait, I know why I got that reward now, because my client state owns the last province last uh, settlement in the province that's north of Italy. Yeah, I just figured that out why the we got the award. Bite of the Basilisk. There's another faction destroyed, I believe. Nope, because they sailed out to sea. Military traditions. Now, I want to see what this wonder is. The Dolmens of Karnag. Wonder. Plus 3% military research rate faction wide. Plus 2%, plus 2 growth faction wide per turn. That's good. That's really good, actually. Um. So. They're not going to go to peace with us now because. They have no choice. Let's get this champion. And let's level up the general. Ooh, okay, another thingy. Uh, plus 10% tariff income from trade agreements faction wide. Let's go with that one. Go with authority and a military tradition. Let's go with unrelenting force because movement speed is always awesome. Or movement distance, I mean, is always good. 
Awesome. We've nearly got all these provinces green. So let's have a look at Cis, Cisalpina or Pina. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Cisalpina? I don't know. Oh, that's owned by my client state. Hellas is owned by my client state a bit as well. And Germania Minor. I think this is going to be the next area we go for. And this is going to be against the Germanic tribe. And I don't think we've been against the Germans yet. Although I could be wrong. It's been a long campaign. But yeah, the Germans are supposed to be quite tough when it comes to tribes in the late game. Especially the Swaby. Which, if they're allied with these dudes, might go to war with me. So... Alright, I'm going to send this army around to, uh, I think I might, yeah, move this army around to uh, here, because we've got to take this settlement to have this full province, and then we can deal with the Rhodes people in Syria. Hmm. Right, but I think I'm going to leave it here for now. And if you have any suggestions about, you know, the naval type stuff, because, you know, it's hardly a threatening force, that one hoplite unit and three archer units. It's not really exactly a new armada. But, yeah, let me know in the comments, and feel free to leave likes and comments and watch it. And I'll get back to you guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.